Hi beautiful ladies, it's Dawn. So today's video is going to be sharing with you some Clinique products that I had asked you if you were interested in seeing in my last Clinique video, which I will link below. The one where I shared the Wear Everywhere grays with peach tones, and that will be linked down below in the description box in case you missed that video. And in this video, I'll also be sharing the winner of the giveaway from that last Clinique video. So check the description box to see if you won the giveaway. So um, today's video is going to be sharing with you the new Best of Black Honey eyeshadow palette that Clinique released over before the summer, probably right around when summer started. And they also released a Black Honey lip pop or gloss pop in their lip glosses this little guy right here. Before I get started, I also wanted to mention that the Sephora sale will be starting for VIB Rouge members on October 28th, and then whatever tier you are, it has different dates that the sale will start. And I wanted to mention that because if you're thinking of picking up any of the products I'm mentioning today, they'll be on sale in like a week or so. So watch out for that, but you can always find them on sale at Macy's and Dillard's and Belk and different departments stores so you can check online as well and I do believe that there is a free gift going on right now with Clinique and maybe purchasing some Clinique products like your skincare or an eyeshadow palette or whatever the case may be you can get that free gift so I'll link that in the description box if it's still going on and so I thought I would do a look, a simple look. I'm chatting, of course, so it's not going to be quick and easy and short. I'll try to work on that for the next one. But I'm going to share these products with you, and I hope you enjoy this I have video. my foundation on and my eyelids primed, but I don't have any other makeup on. I don't have my brows done, nothing else. And I am here to use the Best of Black Honey palette from Clinique. It's really reflective, so I'm kind of holding it so it won't reflect the light in your eyes. And if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, I had featured the Wear Everywhere Grays palette, and I did a gray, smoky eye, and peach tones on my face. And I had asked you all if you'd like to see this new palette from Clinique, which is called The Best of Black Honey, and many of you wanted to see it. So I thought I would just make this video shorter by just doing my eyes cheeks and lips and I do have the new Black Honey products to feature. It's not the same old, same old. I have done a Black Honey palette look in the past using the blush and lip products and Black Honey eyeshadow. I linked that in my Wear Everywhere Grays video and I will link that again in the description box of this video because the new palette, the Best of Black Honey from Clinique does not contain the color Black Honey. It is featuring colors that kind of work well with the shade Black Honey, which they also have in the blush and lip products from Clinique, and there is a new lip product as well. So this is what it looks like. And I'll swatch the colors and show them to you. And it's got some beautiful shades in here. And I'm gonna show you what the Black Honey eyeshadow looks like. So in my Neutral Territory palette, this shade right here is Black Honey, and I'm gonna swatch this. And this is what Black Honey looks like. It's just this beautiful sort of burgundy, brown, toasty shade that is so, so pretty. And I really like it for a one eyeshadow makeup look with the blush and the lippy, and then you just fix your hair, tie it back, and you could go to a wedding, you can wear it every day. It's a little bit glam and beautiful, but it's also kind of pared down, if that makes sense. So this is what it looks like, and this is the Best of Black Honey palette. There aren't any other shades that look like this one in this palette, but they do complement. I am gonna do a couple of swatches of some of the darker shades, and they do swatch very creamy and not patchy. They're really beautiful. So this is one of the darker shades. It's more sheer than the Black Honey, and it's this shade right here, and it comes off much more sheer. 
And now I'm gonna swatch this really pretty kind of brownish tone right here. It's this other darkest shade in this palette. And this is what that darkest shade looks like. It's much darker than the Black Honey. So you've got colors that work well with the Black Honey. And then you also have a pretty pink shade and you've got like this beautiful raspberry shade here. And let's put that by the Black Honey. Oh, that one actually looks kind of close, doesn't it? Oh, it's definitely more burgundy than the Black Honey. So the shade Black Honey is not included in this palette, but this palette does include an array of beautiful shades that would work beautiful with the Black Honey single or without using Black Honey on your eyes and just wearing the Black Honey blush and the Black Honey lips. And so I can see why they call it the best of Black Honey, but when I first purchased the palette, I was really surprised to find out that it doesn't have the shade Black Honey in it at all. I'm gonna start by applying this sort of ivory color right here all over my mobile lid and up to my brow. And I'm just using this to set my eyelid primer and make make a nice base. And it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not really a shimmer. I guess I would call it a satin. I don't wanna waste that. So I'm just gonna put that down. It's just a really nice white. Now I'm gonna take this sheer shade right here. It doesn't look so sheer when I swatch it. See how creamy these swatch, it's so pretty. This, if I didn't know better, I would think this is Black Honey, but again, I'm gonna show you the comparison. I've got the Black Honey right here, and this is the Black Honey. It's very, very similar, but it's a little more brown. And I'm gonna place that shade in the outer corner right there. And again, it's so pigmented. There's no kick up or fallout, just very creamy, not patchy at all. And I'm just putting this in the outer corner and I will blend it eventually. <laughs> um, I'm just not gonna do that yet. I'm just gonna put it down first. So what are you guys thinking about these days? <laughs> it's such a broad question. I have been thinking about that I've been watching too much true crime and keeping up with too many stories like that and it's making me disgusted with humanity <laughs> do you ever feel like that do you ever just get disgusted with humanity i was watching some true crime channels and then other true crime channels would get recommended to me and i would watch those and then i would watch the coverage on like the same case from these different true crime channels and I would think oh this is okay because I'm investigating I'm like a detective I'm going to help them make it to the bottom of this which really I'm not it's just going down a rabbit hole and using your time well wasting your time <laughs> literally so I've been watching too much and it's been making me a little bit disgusted with humanity so that tells me that I need to pull back and not watch as much okay now I am going to take a clean kind of flat brush like I used for the outer corner and I'm going to take this shade right here and this is like um this is kind of like just a really pretty like I don't know I think of like a biscotti or a biscuit or scone you know something a little bit baked <laughs> and I'm tapping that on the inner corner and the first half of my eye a little less than first half so what I've been doing instead is watching these Christian testimonies, um, particularly stories about people like who are, you know, just not Christians, like atheism to Christianity or new age to Christianity or whatever their belief system was before to um, Christianity and listening to testimonies. And they really are powerful and I don't know, they fill me with hope instead of disgust. So that has been going really great. I've just been sort of, um, it's been getting me in a better place, like with God 
I think, and not feeling so like, oh my gosh, society is hopeless. And when I watch all that true crime, I start to really worry about my daughters and my sons all the time. And I think of these crazy things that might potentially happen to them. And then I worry about it and that's not good. Okay, now that I have those shades in place, they are blended. I am going to take this shade right here and let's swatch this one. And how would I describe that? It's just like a soft, it's not really a champagne. I don't know, how would you describe that? Taupey maybe? Look how pretty that is. I hate to waste that too. These colors are just so pretty. I don't wanna waste them. You know what it reminds me of? That's really pigmented and I have too much, but I'll blend it in. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury little pot of Eyes to Memorize in the shade Oyster. I really love that one is a one eyeshadow makeup look and it looks basically just like that. So if you've been wanting oyster and you have this palette or purchase this palette instead, you could use this shade as like a one eyeshadow makeup look. It's just sort of like bronzy and really pretty. What do you guys think? That's really pretty. This palette is so, so pretty. I was a little bit disappointed at first that it didn't contain black honey and I expected something different, but after I started using it, I realized that it is just a super high quality palette and it has a lot of really beautiful shades that I could wear on their own or to accompany other colors, or you could even pull shades from both of these palettes. Like you could pull in the black honey and use it with any of these other shades here. I love that it's got this burgundy shade. I didn't use this one today, but it would be really pretty to do this in this pinky shade right here. I went with the more the biscotti shade. Oops, dirty finger. So pretty. Let's put that in the center of my mobile lid. Wow, look at that. So pretty. I'm using a lot of different colors here that I've never tried <laughs> together before. But... It blends beautifully and it doesn't muddy up. And I don't know, I just love the quality of this palette. And because they are so saturated with color, the palette will last you a very long time because you don't need to use a lot of product. And it's not wasting product with kick up and fallout. You know, some palettes are super dusty. I hate that because you end up like just blowing away your expensive, Anastasia eyeshadow or whatever the color is that's dust. So I am going to find a way to use this berry shade today. It's so pretty. So I've used a lot of shades in this palette, nearly all of them actually. And I'm going to use that berry shade as my eyeliner. And I'm just going to make a little wing and a line underneath. Something else that's been really inspiring me, but only like in the fashion sense, is if any of you have watched Virgin River, I love that show. Season four just came out and I didn't watch it yet because I'm watching something else, but I'm gonna watch season four. But I just love the character Mel Monroe on there and I love the way she dresses and the scenery and the set of that show is so beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. The whole town is just beautiful. It's got a river, lots of trees, a lot of parks. And um, I don't know, I just love everything about that show, but I love Mel's whole wardrobe. So if you're ever looking for fashion inspiration, you can search Mel Monroe's wardrobe from Virgin River and it will show you like the kinds of things she wears. She just layers things really nicely. It's not a super high-end wardrobe. It's sort of casual, but so put together, polished and pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and line my upper waterline with a waterproof eyeliner. And this is from Stila and it's Smoky Quartz. And I am just gonna get in there and do my upper waterline. So are any of you guys in that state that I was in, just feeling kind of disgusted with humanity? And if you have been there and aren't anymore, let us know like what you do. You know, I think during COVID when we were all hunkered at home and watching the news a lot because we weren't really sure what was going on with the virus. I think we all sort of fell into a bit of, um, maybe not depression necessarily, but like um, 
sort of a hopeless state for a while. I know I did. Am I the only one? Okay, I did go ahead and I just took this shade. I'm kind of brushing it along my upper lash line. I'm just going to put on a couple of coats of the High Impact Mascara from Clinique, and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna add some bronzer with my Chubby Stick bronzer from Clinique. And I did use this in my last video. I really like this a lot. I find myself reaching for this all the time now because it's so easy to use and it's so creamy and easy to blend in that I just have been grabbing it all the time. Plus it gives me such like a natural glow that I really like it. So the last time I remember feeling really disgusted with humanity is when COVID started and people started to become really fearful. And then that kind of overlapped with other things that were going on in our society, you know, with the police and the um, Black Lives Matter movement. And there was just division everywhere between people. And I really felt... Um, Hope, not hopeless, <laughs> that's an extreme word. I really felt, um, I don't know, I, I felt like I was sort of getting a little bit depressed. There was a little bit of a silver lining in that though because um, you know, I, I wasn't living here alone. I was living here with my two sons and um, one of my daughters who was going away to college was um, having at home learning. So a whole bunch of us, Five of the six of us were all hunkered here under the same roof. And I really liked that, enjoyed that. I liked having my family all here all the time. And I did know in my heart that that would probably not happen again, if ever, or for a very long time, where we're just all, you know, um, sheltering at home and everyone's together. And we did a lot of cooking and a lot of talking and a lot of eating and... <laughs> A lot of different things together. So that was nice. And that kind of, I think, prevented me from slipping into a depression during that time. But I found that that was a really um, hard time. And I felt a lot of disgust with some of the things I was seeing and reading and the division between people. And I don't know, I just know that it wasn't it wasn't what it seemed on the outside. It was like warfare going on in, you know, in the the heavens, in the realm that we can't see. And um, I don't know, I felt really like scared, like we were going to be coming to like the end of days, like the world was going to end or something. I can't be the only person who had that cross my mind. <laughs> Did any of you have that cross your mind? I know we're never are supposed to know when that's going to happen or we can't know, but um, it did run across my mind. Am I alone in that? I think we all think about that kind of thing sometimes, maybe not at that moment for you, but I think all of us eventually think about that, you know, like, oh gosh, things are so bad or things are going such a certain way that I wonder, you know, when you start to think about those things. And I don't know, it just kind of brings me a little bit closer to God because then I start to, in fear, kind of cry out to him more. And I guess that's what happened. It made me want to sign up for my women's group that I'm in this fall and kind of get back into the word and the thing that kind of stabilizes me and keeps me from letting fear overtake me. Okay, so that is the Black Honey Blush. And what I love about this is obviously the color, but it gives my skin that look that I just worked out, that it's cold out and I'm coming in from the cold or you know, that look that you get when you've had just some good, healthy physical activity and you've got that flush. I love this for that. And you can use it like where you put your bronzer and everything just to kind of make your skin look healthy. I think it really adds the look of health to my skin. And it is supposed to look beautiful on any skin tone. It will look different on all skin tones, but it's designed to work with any skin tone. Okay, I went ahead and I applied the Black Honey Almost Lipstick. 
this is what it looks like. Right now, Clinique has some sort of free gift with purchase, I believe, that includes this. It's the exact same product, but they always put it in the like burgundy colored container, but everything is essentially the same. And I think there's a gift going on right now. So I am going to link that if I can find it. So that way, if you do need to purchase anything from Clinique, you could get the free gift with the black honey. I have so many of these almost lipsticks rolling around my house because I've gotten free gifts of them over the years and I don't mind. I never think that I have too many because I always like to have them in my purse and it's a go-to. It goes with whatever I'm wearing. It's just that perfect berry shade and I love it. So this is what the black honey almost lipstick looks like. Just a beautiful berry shade. Now I'm going to take this off and show you the new product that Clinique released in the Black Honey range. And this is the Clinique Creamy Lip Gloss in Black Honey Pop. And it's a gloss. It comes in like a typical gloss tube. And it's got like a little doe foot applicator. And look at that color. It's so like perfect Black Honey. And let's go ahead and put this on. I love it. It's as saturated in color as the Black Honey Almost Lipstick, if not a little bit more. It's balmier because it's more of a gloss, so it's got that slip, but it doesn't have that slip that stretches or anything goopy between your lips. And it's really long wearing too. It will come off on your coffee cup and your whatever your beverage is and you will need to reapply it, but it doesn't go into my lines anywhere around my lips. And it's a really good product. Do you need both? Mm -mm. I'd say make a choice. Um, get one of these maybe as a free gift and buy this. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Then you'd have both. But they are both beautiful products. And I really like having a gloss that you can wear as your lipstick during the winter months because they are so balmy and hydrating and um, just look so pretty with that little bit of shine. And it's pretty opaque for a gloss, wouldn't you say so? my hair down just to get the glam effect of black honey everything is so light and beautiful you can just use the lip product a little bit of blush and use like the black honey color alone on your eyelids like i always have done in the past or if you're getting the new palette, it gives you so many good choices and i think i used seven of these eight shades today i didn't use this one and it's just a really pretty kind of champagne color. Look how pretty that is. And I think this is a beautiful palette. I'm really happy to have it in my collection, even though it isn't Black Honey per se. It's colors that give you a great look with the other Black Honey products. And I do find that these palettes are very different palettes. The Neutral Territory that has the Black Honey color, and then this one that has all the complementary shades. I think it's just beautiful, and it's a great way to mix up your look using other Black Honey products. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Say hello down in the comments. I love interacting with you. Let me know your thoughts, any of the topics I covered, feeling disgusted with humanity. It's like, what a lovely topic on a beautiful fall day, but I'm actually feeling a lot better. I didn't really talk about how disgusted I was feeling with humanity when I was feeling disgusted with humanity, but I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone. I know some of you have felt that way, if not all of you at some point. So yeah, let me know. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.